Dude, crumble cookies. Oh, my mic's been super far away. No one's probably been able to hear me. This is probably a whole lot better. Holy shit moly. Um, I was also thinking about doing a new segment. Get out my face. Jesus. Now, the producer never rates the cookies. Would the producer be interested in rating the cookies? The producer shows somewhat interest in rating the cookies. So. so we start each segment of each week off with the producer's ratings and my corrected ratings. Oh, okay. She said, uh, uh, she said uh, we'll do a Valentine's Day special. I don't. I hope you don't expect good content because you, you're gonna. But you are gonna see some good cookies. That is the one thing that I can promise. And no, I'm not a spokesman for crumble cookies, by the way. A little crumbly, um, chilled. Here we go with cookie number four. Oh, surprise! There's caramel. Wow, that's a really good cookie. I say that after I eat about every cookie. When so let's give cookie number four a rating, shall we? Yes, we shall. And we'll reveal it. Eight out of ten. As you can see, we have chilled Twix. Ah. Um, oh, but this one has like a lava inside of it. See? Look at that. You can even see it clear, clear as day on the camera. So cookie number three. Let's take a bite. It's definitely a snickerdoodle. It's hard to rate that one because it's just kind of like... I just want the cookie dough. Now, the cookie itself, um, above average, yes, I would prefer that over a chocolate chip cookie still. I would say not very much, so we're going to give that a 6 out of 10. Gingerbread. Oh, let me get the gingerbread. <laughs> Go with ginger gingerbread snickerdoodle. Are you shitting me? Hazelnut churro. <laughs> I was way in left field. I was just, I was absolutely way in left hazelnut. And this brings us to cookie number two, which this is a, a one of the more exotic looking cookies we have had. It looks cooler in person. You know, cookie number three. Shiver me timbers. I think that's the peanut butter cookie. It gets a, a five out of 10. It's a good cookie. It tastes like peanut butter. I'm just going peanut butter cookie. Cookie number two. Classic peanut. Yes. <laughs> I like the smiley. Uh, hand and new. Oh, it might be Funfetti. There's, look at those. You can see like the blue and green things inside. And there's a pink topping. I'm going to dig right in to the final cookie of the day, which is cookie number one. Wow. Holy shit moly. That is crazy flavorful. Birthday cake frosting, it kind of tastes like. Um, the crunch of the, those little crunchies on top was actually really nice as you were biting through the cookie. I thought that was dope. Like it's not just the garnish, that actually functioned in the cookie. So two thumbs up for me for that. That sounds like some Food Network shit. Cookie number one gets an eight out of 10. Very, that was a really good cookie. Do I go birthday cake or do I go funfetti? Or do I go Funfetti birthday cake? Confetti cake? Oh, I was really close. The knife can only mean one thing. And that means it's time for the creme de la Sven. And there's only one thing I can say to you. And that's cheers, motherfuckers! Woo! No real flavor is standing out so far. Surprise this week. Seven and a half out of ten. That was really, really, really good. Like I said, was, I got a big churro cookie. I got a little bit of the peanut butter kind of mixed with the churro. It was like a peanut butter churro, maybe. That's why it was so strong. Anyways, I'm checking off for now. Said that a million times. I'm going to actually do it because I'm getting hungry. And I want some more food. Maybe I'm going to have some chili. Who knows? But I'm checking off for now. I'll see you next Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Sharp. Sometimes 801.